Daniel chapter 7. Chapter 7. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From verse 6. Uh, from verse. From verse 7. After this. I saw in the night visions. And behold. A fourth beast. Dreadful and terrible. And strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn we are eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. The ten horns that you saw, they are those of the nations that made up the former Roman Empire. That fourth beast that looked terrible, horrible, was the Roman Empire that he saw. The ten horns are the nations that made up the Roman Empire, the old Roman Empire. But suddenly there was an eleventh horn. But this time it was a little horn that had so much power until it plucked up is it three or four of three of the, the, the of those ten horns. The little horn there is the Vatican City. Praise the Lord. The little horn there, that small state there, and the power there is the Vatican power of the Pope. And now history shows three of those uh, emperors that he used his influence and brought down. That is already history already. The details, we have had it taken uh, several times in our Sunday school teachings here. Praise the Lord. AD, our Sunday school teacher is saying, he's already giving you the answer there. There were France, Italy, and Germany. It is history. It happened. But he speaks great things with his mouth. In short, every description there, the little horn there, is the Roman, I mean the Vatican City, which is actually part of the Roman Empire. God bless you, Brother Elvis from Thailand. Okay, our sister. As church, praise the Lord. I have two questions. And I want to get the answer from you. Say you should talk louder. My question concerning the the dead ones, those that pass on on this world. When I was reading the Bible, because we had the seminar last week, somebody gave us that message concerning the dead ones after death. So I searched my Bible. I say if I come to that, I will ask this question. The Bible said in the book of Revelation. To said the final judgment. Yes. He said the final judgment. He said, Then I saw a great white throne, and the one who sits on it, earth and heaven, flew away from his presence, and were seen no more. And I saw the dead, great and small alike, standing before the throne, book were open, and then another book was open. The book of the living, the dead were judged according to what they have done, as recorded in the book. Then they see, give up, give its dead, death and the word of the dead, also give the dead the healed. Praise the Lord. Amen. According to the lecture of the brother, he said, even those that they died in the river or fire or on that final day, 
that it will produce them. And he said that, according to the Bible, after death, judgment. And according to his speech, he said, when someone dies, he appears to God for the first judgment. And after the first judgment, he's waiting for the last judgment. So, my question is, where are these souls? Where are they kept? B waiting for the final judgment. Because where I read here is the final judgment. God will judge us, the final judgment. Those will go to heaven and those will go to hell. And why I'm asking this question, according to this uh, video they are watching now, concerning Sister Linda, Sister this, he said that God opened her eyes, she sees uh, somebody in hell. Is it possible for God to reveal to her the person in hell? Does it mean that the final judgment has taken place for someone to be in hellfire now and someone to be in heaven? That's my first question. Praise the Lord. Sorry, where did you, which church organized that uh, seminar or conference? It's for youth. Which church? It's a Catholic church. They, they organized that for youth. Yes. And a Catholic priest was giving that. It's teaching. not a priest. It's not a priest. It's a brother that gave the. A message. Catholic brother. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, now, when you turn down the voice of God to every age, then you will be left to do nothing but to teach men for doctrine, commandments. I mean, for doctrine, you teach for doctrine, commandments of men. That man does not know Bible. Unless if you didn't hear him well. Now, listen. You read from uh, Revelation chapter 20. So, open it again. Read it from verse 4. Okay. Then I saw thrones, and those who sat on them were given the power to judge. He saw thrones. Uh -huh. And those who sat on those thrones were given the power to judge. Uh -huh. I also saw the souls of those who had been executed because they had uh, proclaimed. Hello? Praise God. Please give her King James Version of the Bible to read. Give her original King James, not the reversed or new King James. Thank you. Read it again from verse 4. And I saw thrones, yes. and they sat upon them, yes. and judgment was given unto them. Uh -huh. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded from the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, yes. hands yes. and they live and reign with Christ a thousand years. Uh -huh. Go on. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years we are finished. This is the first resurrection. So, there are two resurrections. The first resurrection, after the resurrection, they are given thrones to sit down and judge and reign with Christ. For how long? 1,000 years. That is the group of people that go in the rapture. We will come back with Christ and rule this earth for 1,000 years. Go on. Verse 6. Verse 6 says, blessed, yes. blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. Uh -huh. On such the second death had no power. Uh -huh. But they shall be priests of God uh -huh. and of Christ. Uh -huh. They shall reign with him a thousand years. They will reign with him a thousand years. Go to verse 7. And when the thousand years were expired. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison uh -huh. and shall go out to deceive the nations yes. which are in the four quarters of 
the earth. Uh -huh. God and Maga, they gather them together to battle. The number of whom... Just go straight to verse 11. Verse 11. And I saw a great white throne. That is where you read. That is where you read. Let me read it. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was far no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Notice it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. It means there is a place called hell that has some people there. And there's another place called death that also has some people there. Okay? And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell we are cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now if I understand your question very well, there are two resurrections. The first resurrection is what we are expecting now. The dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which are alive, first Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. 16, 17. Those of us who are alive shall be changed in a moment. And we together will meet the Lord in the air and be with him forever. Now, now, anybody that does not resurrect now and goes in the rapture, you remain where you are. Until after the 1,000 years, those of us who went in the rapture, we have passed over judgment. Praise the Lord. Because there are two resurrections and there are two judgments. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10 says, For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We here, Apostle Paul, say we. It means it's talking about God's elect. What shall we do? Takes us back to the parable of the talents. Before he left, he gave some five, some ten, some one. He will come back. When he come back, he said, he gave them, he said, occupy till I come. The talent is a spiritual gift he has given you. The ministry he has given you. In the rapture, praise the Lord. We will all stand before him. It is not judgment unto condemnation. It is judgment unto reward. Depending on what you did with your gifts, you will now earn your crown. That will determine the size of the area you will govern when we come back to rule the earth for 1,000 years. If you didn't use the gift, you will not have anywhere to rule. Praise the Lord. That is the first resurrection and that is the first judgment. So our own is not judgment unto condemnation. Praise the Lord. Our own is judgment unto reward. Apostle Paul speaks about this crown of righteousness. Praise the Lord. So, and that is why we are all working for those of us who are revelated. There are people that will go in the rapture very anointed here. But when they get there, they have no reward because of what they did with the talent they had. When you charge anybody before you pray for him, which reward do you want to have when we go there? You don't chop your own all hair, finish. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you use the gift and enrich yourself, which reward are you looking for again? Amen. And if you kept your own say, cha, 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 no one trouble, no one trouble, he will tell you you are wicked. Praise the Lord. So if you have a gift, you are not using it. Maybe you will be the one that will be carrying my briefcase in the millennium. Follow me anywhere I go. Be my boy, boy. 
till after 1,000 years is over. Because you don't have anywhere to rule now. Wait, so, so what happened? Don't you follow me anywhere? Carry can, my back and follow me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, now then, all those who did not resurrect, if you resurrection take place, you look for anybody, you don't see them. You search everywhere, you don't see them. It means he didn't resurrect. He is waiting for the second judgment. And that second judgment is to give you reason why you are going to hell fire. Nobody will be saved again. You are only waiting for God to show you and it is the same Jesus Christ that judgment has been committed to. To show you, to give you reason why you go to hell. And anywhere the dead are, some people that say they do cremation, where they burn dead bodies and use the ashes and scatter everywhere. God knows where every ash is. They will locate themselves and come together. And they will all appear before their maker. Praise the Lord. Graves will vomit their own. Your question is, do we still have hell anywhere? Linda said she saw some people in hell. The meaning of hell, hell is a place of torment. And there are people that are in torment now after they have died. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ gave an example of the rich man and Lazarus. And he said, one was in the bosom of Abraham, but there was a gulf in between them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was under the covenant of the blood of animals. But there was a gap. This one cannot cross over, this one cannot cross over, but this one they see how this one they do, this one they see how the other one they do. And the rich man who had no time for God, though he had the opportunity to serve God, was in torment. He was in hell. In torment. And then we know the discussion that took place. But when Jesus Christ died, those three days, the Bible tells us, he went to that place, that region where they kept them. Oh, glory be to God. That is somewhat. Eh? Psalm number 24. Can we read it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse 7. It was when he was going to that region where Satan had the power to keep them there. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, all ye gates. He will lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And he descended there, Peter told us. Praise the Lord. He led captivity captive. Made an open show of Satan. He went and told those people in the place of torment who he was and why they remain in torment. I went to these other people from Abel up to Abraham and the rest and took them away from that place, Shoel, and took them to paradise. So we are the saints of God are now. They are not in heaven. They are in a place called paradise waiting for all of us together to go and meet them in the air. Then we shall be with the Lord Jesus Christ. So there are two waiting places. Hell or paradise. So there is hell. A place of torment. God bless you. Thank you. My second question. According to your preaching on baptism, when I read the Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Apostles chapter 10, I read 40, 47. 
Those people have received the Holy Spirit.